Thank you all for attending this webinar on the seven habits of highly effective people. My name, for those who don't know, is Wayne Miles, and I am one of the graphic design instructors here at CDED. Um, these are these are well, they're habits based on the book by Stephen R. Covey, and I welcome each and every one of you to seek out this book to learn more on this topic. In saying that. Um, we will, be, we will be only covering the seven habits, just a brief overview of them, and how they relate to everyday school life for online distance education. So it's a little bit of a spin I'm putting on here. It's not just in general for everything. I will tell you a little bit about it, but then I'll tell you how it benefits you as a student for online distance education. <clears throat> so continuing here. Um, well, you know, let's, let's, let's do this. Before we get started, uh, I'd like to just quickly share one of my experiences while obtaining uh, education on how these habits have helped me, uh, well, help me keep motivated to succeed. Um, at this point, I'm just going to read off an email here that I actually sent on, uh, on, um, out on last Friday past. Um, so um, here we go. <clears throat> uh, I was away from home, opposite side of Canada, alone, worked hard, studied harder, and took a bus for about two hours every day, weekends too, just to attend class. Needless to say, finding motivation became very difficult for me. Then one day, an instructor of mine taught me a very powerful lesson. He provided me with this excellent motivational tool, and that very tool was, can anyone guess it? Da, 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 da. <laughs> the seven habits of highly effective people. Um, now, what I didn't say in that, uh, in that email was that for my, for my first few months, um, I thought it was actually a great, um, for, for my first few months attending school out in, out in uh, BC there, it was Kelowna, BC actually, um, I thought it was a great idea to purchase a mountain bike and cycle uh, from home to work to school uh, every day <laughs> for the few, first, um, first few months, um, which worked out to about no exaggeration here. I actually, I actually looked up and, and made sure to calculate on Google Maps. It worked out to about 50 kilometers of biking each day for the first few months. Um, so my bike broke down three times <laughs> in that time, and I had to keep returning to um, the store. I won't say the store, but to the store uh, for fixing. Uh, the last time it was returned permanently. Now allow me to explain. Um, I was making my way. I was making my way to work uh, downhill with an 18-wheeler truck or trucks just flying on by, the dirt roaring all around me, and all of a sudden, not joking at all here, my handlebars literally just went poof and fell off the bike, like lift it right up. So uh, yes, poof, it actually happened. Uh, fell straight off. So okay, no problem. <laughs> well, I guess kind of there is, but 18-wheelers to the left. So hey, Wayne, just go to the right. To the right was a mega drop, like over to the uh, small railings, and um, it would basically meet my ultimate doom if I had gone over. <laughs> um, so I did that, but clearly I didn't meet my ultimate doom. <laughs> uh, so basically, as the railings, uh, as I went against the railings, it slowed down my speed enough so that I was able to just walk the rest of the way home. I just ended up with some scratches and bruises and whatnot. Uh, so it wasn't too bad, right? But a scary situation nonetheless. Um, all in a day's work, basically. <laughs> uh, so why am I telling you this here story? Um, I basically want you to realize that everyone has obstacles in their life, whether it be taking care of family and loved ones, working a job while attending school, financial difficulties, but are trying to you know, better your future or, or, um, or change that, right? Uh, no matter what the reason, each and every one of you may benefit from the seven habits, um, uh, seven habits of highly effective people. If you're willing to accept it, of course, in your life, the seven habits are not a part-time job. It is a lifestyle choice. So, at the end of this webinar, if anyone would like to share their experiences within this webinar, um, I'd be more than happy to listen. I'm going to state right now, I am not a life coach of any sort, um, but I may have some insights because I have been a fellow student for many years in the past, and I'm an instructor now, so I kind of have uh, both sides of the situation a little bit here, which, which can help. So, uh, you can call me or you can email me at wmiles at cd-ed.com. I will provide you with email at the, at the end, so I don't have to spell it on out for you. So there will be a, an email provided at the end there. Um, 
Okay, a little bit more about uh, about this, uh, about online distance education. So, um, when attending an online distance education, there are certain benefits, okay, um, such as um, not having to travel, but instead working from home in your pajamas. That's always great. Bonus. So, another one would be sending email. Um, it, it would be sending email and calling on the phone for support rather than, you know, raising your hand 10,000 feet in the air, screeching or crying, for you to basically be picked out of your many peers beside you to have your questions answered, right? Never fun, right? Um, or, this one's my personal favorite, by the way, <laughs> so you don't have to face the evil, oh, please, don't make it, don't make me do it, stand up in front of the class, public speaking, bum, bum, bum. No one likes that, or if you do, well, you're not me then, because <laughs> I remember when I was going through school, I hated public speaking, but they pounded that stuff into us, so it, it was really good. Um, so that would be uh, a disadvantage here when it comes to online distance education, and we'll cover a little bit more on that there. Um, but anyways, here we go. <clears throat> um, so with all these here benefits to online distance education, there must also be some problems that, that students may face, such as... Um, you may miss that face-to-face -face interaction, which can truly prepare you for the real world when introduced to various social experiences. Uh, consider another scary but effective means to keep yourself on track. Showing up to class with your homework not done and your instructor asks, why is your assignment not done? Unfortunately, my dog ate my homework, just won't cut it in today's digital age. With online distance education, you may find it difficult to keep on task and meet your deadlines so, because there's just so many distractions there at home. Um, the truth is, there is no difference between the two except one has more consequences by possibly causing you to be embarrassed in front of your peers. That can be a good thing, by the way, too, because it only takes one embarrassment situation to get you back on track, okay? Um, so. I'd like to ask each and every one of you to consider, um, just to consider something, should you be late on an assignment, ask yourself why you took this course in the first place. If your answer was to better your future, then why not do your hardest and truly make an impact on your future, starting with those very assignments. Now. To get started on the seven habits of highly effective people and how they may relate to your online distance education. So at this point, before we continue on, I click that little button that makes it go to the next slide. Does anyone have any questions at this point? <sighs> okay, so I'm going to keep on going here then. Uh, and once again, if anybody has any questions, uh, just type in the chat or speak out loud. Um, even if you just have to, if I'm only giving you 10 seconds and you have to uh, say, you know, wait, 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 just right quick, I'll wait and I'll wait for you to type your message in the chat. Okay. So I'm a clicking. All right. Habit one, be proactive. <clears throat> All right, so be proactive. Basically, don't let your current perspective define who you aim to become. Uh, there is no right or wrong answer on how one should perceive themselves or others. But if we dig deep and we change some of the negative energy into positive, then perhaps we may have a less stressful day. This is typically known as the glass half full method. There are too many external forces to keep us from reaching our goals. Make today a better day by nulling out those negative influences. And how does this affect online distance education? So <clears throat> you get up you get up in the morning and you treat each day like it is better than the previous. Chances are if you say, Ugh, not another assignment, then that is going to be a long day. But if you return back to the question, why did I spend all this money to enroll in the first place? Then, 
you may continue to remind yourself of what is important um, and instead of feeling negative, go ahead and basically turn that frown upside down. Um, P.S. Coffee helps. Um, since we're talking about online distance education, how about decorating your workplace, your work area, uh, with motivational photos, hey, action figurines, right? Inspirational quotes, and, um, oh, please, please, please consider using Pinterest. That's wicked. Um, that social media network is packed full of motivation. I love it. Um, a lot of the graphic design students and web design students are using it. Uh, it's, it's actually built into the program, and it's fantastic. Okay? Um, so, we're going to take a little break here, just 10 seconds. If anyone wants to talk, start yammering. If anyone wants to put it in the chat, uh, just say something quick, just so I know to wait while you type something out. And 10 seconds, Jeopardy music plays. Uh, silent Jeopardy music, so I'm not singing. <coughs> Okay, all right, let's get to the next one here. Habit number two, begin with the end in mind. I just want to double check here. Um, the audio is working. Can someone just say something right quick? Just want to make sure it's going here. Okay. Sweet. All right, heard some crickets out there. It's getting a little worried. <laughs> okay, so uh, habit two, begin with the end in mind. Uh, now you're wondering, what on earth does he have a picture of a brick for? <laughs> well, I'm going to get to that point. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> begin with the end of mind, habit two. Um, some of us work best in chaos. We do. Some of us do. I'm actually one of them. <laughs> uh, others need a great deal of planning. I'm also kind of that person. I'm a 50-50 on it. Regardless of how our personalities work, setting some kind of goal in mind or goals in mind can keep us on track and motivated to succeed. Um, a fellow instructor actually sent me this quote last week on, uh, on Friday, I believe, and, um, and uh, it fits well to the situation. Here it is. Motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. That's just awesome. I just, I love that. She said that to me and I was like, that's going in this. That is going in this. Okay. Uh, so, you know, you can even stick something like that in your desk to keep yourself motivated, whatever you got to do. Okay. Motivation is the key to success. Okay. Or I should say, I guess habit in this case is. <clears throat> now, begin with the end of mind. How does that pertain to online distance education? So, here's some of my notes. Um, day one of school. You have two options. Let's just say two options for now. You can either plan out your first week, well, and slash or plan out the entire year for that matter. Um, life happens and we can't always control it. But if we create a schedule to follow, a specific routine, we can at least have some sort of structure. Has anyone heard of brick walls? <laughs> I'll be more a little more specific on that, just saying, have you ever heard of brick walls before? Um, not, not, not the hard kind, okay? Um, but rather the metaphorical kind. Um, a brilliant college professor by the name of Randy Posh, who taught at Carnegie Mellon University, hosted an assembly called The Last Lecture. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing here. Uh, Chris just said, uh, yes, I bang my head on them often. <laughs> I hear you there. <laughs> um, so speaking there of the last lecture uh, for Randy Posh when he had hosted that, uh, and Kathy's there agreeing with Krista, <laughs> um, I highly encourage each of you to look up this video. I can't count the amount of times or the amount of inspirational insight that I've gained um, and I've received from this video. He's uh, Randy Posh, he speaks for a part of the video about brick walls and how they are put into place to keep those who don't want something bad enough out. Jumping back on topic here in regards to begin with the end in mind, 
sometimes it may take one brick at a time. But in the end, if you push hard enough, those bricks will fall and you will be a graduate. That's pretty cool. Okay. Does anyone have any questions at this point before we move on to the next, uh, the next habit? No, but you sent me a quotation from that, and it sure did inspire me considering my situation. Thank you. No problem, actually. I was actually thinking of you when I, uh, when, when I, um, when I sent that out there. I put this in here. I went to an email and I, and I took a piece of it out there to make sure to mention it in this. So I'm glad <laughs> it. Uh, I'm glad it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bade your head around the noggin, so that's good. That sure <laughs> did. Thank you. It was awesome. No problem at all. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to move on to the next one here, which is um, habit three. Put first things first. Oh, just while I was reading a comment here. Okay, there's someone, uh, Mary, asking a question. Oh, uh, Mary? Hello. Can you, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, perfect. Just want to make sure that you just popped in. Just want to make sure part of the group and everything's going good. So just to bring you up to speed, we're on habit three, put first things first. And uh, the other ones that you may have missed, it will be covered in the recorded video in, uh, in, a, in a very short time, about uh, a week or two. It will be uploaded to the LMS along with some other ones that are uh, on uh, back order, I guess we could say. Uh, so if you have any questions, it will be covered at a later time. Or you can email me and I can provide you with some, uh, some information that you may have missed. Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Okay, so uh, habit three, put first things first. Um, we all need balance between work and personal life. Too much of anything can drive us crazy. Understanding that humans, or as humans, <laughs> uh, we need certain forms of entertainment, uh, friendship, work. I forgot to hit the next slide, didn't I? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so entertainment, hobbies, friendship and family, work, finance. Uh, now we're continuing on here. <laughs> um, and of course, education. Responsibilities such as family and friends are extremely crucial to one's success in life. Just so as long as the teeter-totter swing doesn't fall to the ground. We want to keep an even balance of that. Okay. Um, now we're going to go on to how does this affect online distance education once again. So... Um, <clears throat> clearly... Um, your job is important, but so are your studies. Perhaps you should or could create a chart that will allocate precisely what needs to be done for the week. And do not reward yourself until specific tasks are met. It's too easy to do. It's just like when you're on a diet. That chocolate bar is right there. Like, what do you do? I'm really wanting that sugar rush, right? So the same thing with watching TV or playing video games. That can happen, right? So reward yourself only when you deserve it, okay? Um, so, for example, um, submit a tutorial assignment and then take the family for a nice drive in the park. Uh, perhaps video games are your thing, no problem. Just make sure to complete what is clearly uh, more important first. Think about it. If you spend thousands of dollars on education, why would you put TV or video games first? That would be an example of putting last things first, okay? And once again, we're going to take a 10-second break there in case anyone has a question or they want to put something in the chat. If you do want to put something in the chat, just say, me, me, whatever, and I'll wait. <clears throat> yeah. I think the real reason for these breaks is just so I can have a drink of coffee, to be honest. <laughs> Hi, I just wanted to say that I definitely do that. I give myself a little reward every time I finish an assignment. Perfect, yes. No, it's exactly. And sorry, I, I didn't get who was, uh, who was asking that question there, or, or stating that, sorry. Oh, Stacy. Oh, hey, Stacy. say yes. Um, yeah, no, you got to do that, right? You got to give yourself that little 
little breaks, just little tiny pieces. It doesn't have to be much, just something. Um, yeah, but, even if it's just yeah. like not doing anything, yeah. no work or no school, just taking a little break. You do that every time. Yeah, yeah. You know, like you, you can go full tilt to something because you want to go, 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 get it done, and don't get me wrong. It's going to happen because maybe you crammed or maybe life happens. Maybe something bad happened uh, and that, that we don't want to ever happen, but it's life. It can happen, okay? Um, and then you, you're forced to cram your work. That can happen, okay? But taking the time we need to just take little breaks as we go, um, percolate a little bit, uh, avoid TV and video games. I just find them to be a big distraction. They're, they're, they're like a long-term uh, um, goal reward system. Uh, whereas going for a short walk or hopping on the treadmill, um, small little things are good rewards, right? Um, okay. Um, Chris just said there, I want to bring up, uh, she said, it's easy to burn out uh, with online education. Uh, there's no such thing as after hours. <laughs> That's very well put, Krista. <laughs> okay, so. Now, we have no other questions. We're going to move on to the fourth habit here, which is think win-win. All right. And it's not a, a lottery thing, but if anyone's curious, that would be pretty sweet, but it's, it's not. <laughs> um, so. Think win-win. <clears throat> Basically, you're you're going to pursue mutually beneficial solutions or situations where both parties have a positive gain. Um, in circumstances where both parties cannot meet an equal arrangement, consider agreeing to a draw or uh, both parties can basically walk away from the situation. Okay, uh, some may call this agree to disagree, or perhaps it is a business decision that just doesn't add up. Without an equal arrangement, there is room for win-lose behavior instead of win-win, which can have problematic consequences. And how does this affect online distance education once again? When working on a project that just doesn't seem to be cooperating, perhaps you're having a mental block. Um, in these situations, walk away from the assignment and take a look at another approach. This may consist of creating a mind map or even percolating another activity such as doing the dishes. Uh, avoid watching TV or playing video games. Uh, these can serve as for, um, a far greater distraction than what they're worth uh, and should instead be used as a reward system for yourself, so like a long-term reward. Uh, when faced with a problem that you can simply or simply cannot uh, solve at your own current mindset, how about something like go for a nature walk, uh, as mentioned before. And um, when you complete your assignment and submit, go ahead, reward yourself. Do that big thing. We all need it. You deserve it. Okay? So, take a break there for 10 more seconds. Oh, um... Are you able to uh, mute your mic there? Um, I just it, it, there's some uh, children in the background there. It's a little bit distracting there. Just like a little bit. That's all. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So, uh, anybody have any questions at? Um, Regarding habit four, think win-win. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna have to just mute um, uh, the one person with the, um, the noise in the background there, uh, just because it's a little bit difficult to hear there. Okay, uh, if you do have any other questions though, you can uh, type into the chat. Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. Okay, so, <clears throat> um, moving on to habit five. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. Um, when having a conversation with your peers, 
we may all have great ideas and stories to tell. The problem with this is that we all want to tell our own story and it, because it's, well, it's important to us. But without realizing that, um, that the, other, the other peer may not have an equal opportunity to tell their story because it feels important to them. Um, instead, consider listening to what they have to say, consume that information, and then offer a conversation based on that story. When the time comes, you will then have a turn to share your story, but to not interrupt nor direct a conversation or redirect a conversation elsewhere uh, when the current information is still relevant. Of course, you can switch a conversation up. Just let them have their, their story first and make that rewarding because it's important to them. Okay? Um, and how does this affect online distance education? With online distance education, asking questions can be difficult because we are not face-to-face. -face. This answer is a little more untraditional to this particular habit, um, but I feel it's still relevant. So I'm going to go ahead and keep going with this piece. Um, before asking a question or submitting an assignment, pretend you're the instructor. Why not? Carefully read through the assignment instructions and do a little more research on the topic at hand. Upon carefully evaluating your own work, give yourself some constructive feedback and then apply that feedback to furthering your work. Once you're satisfied, go ahead and submit. I'm certain you'll be far prouder of yourself. And we're just going to take a break there for 10 seconds again before moving on to habit six. <coughs> <clears throat> Okie dokie, here we go. Habit six, synergize. All right. <clears throat> so, synergize, habit six. Um, when, enter when entertaining an idea or uh, problem solving an issue, the creative cooperation of teamwork and freedom of speech from others' personal experience and expertise may lead to a solution. Okay? Um, so, once again, uh, how does this affect online distance education? Uh, unfortunately, Online distance education limits students from speaking, their, speaking with their peers. This weakens the social interaction for each student who may wish to synergize with their fellow peers, whether it be for questions about an assignment or starting, um, a, starting, a, study, starting a study group. Um, to get around this, there are, a few, there are a few various social media networks such as, well, Facebook and LinkedIn. Uh, you can connect with your peers on there. Uh, we also have a Facebook page. Um, so find, seek them out. Why not, right? Yeah, they're your peers, you, you can find out who they are. I'll get to that point in a second. And um, you, can share your, you, can, you can share your thoughts, uh, offer constructive criticism to one another. Uh, just make sure it's constructive, OK? <laughs> um, so once again, as mentioned, we have a Facebook page at CDED and also a student form for various resources when you log into the, uh, the LMS, the Learning Management System. Um, a great feature we offer uh, on the front page of the LMS are the common rooms. There's a common room for each, uh, each category, uh, or each, sorry, each category, each course. So for graphic design, web design, whatever it may be, um, there's a category in there for it, and you can find out who your peers are in there, ask questions, and connect with them um, um, connect with them, ask questions, offer constructive criticism for their work, maybe share some portfolio pieces. Uh, it's, it's a great tool for that. Uh, and of course, once you make that connection with them, uh, it's, there's no stopping it there. Sky's the limit. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> this is basically a fantastic pay place that you can ask questions, receive feedback uh, from other students regarding your work. These resources may be a good way to connect with your fellow peers. Okay. Uh, so that is that habit, and we're on to our last one in just a moment. So does anyone have any other questions before we move off Synergize? And just to summarize Synergize, I probably should have squeezed in there. It basically means play nice with others. <laughs> 
So five more seconds and we'll move over to habit number seven. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So habit seven, sharpen the saw. Uh, we're not going to a tool shed, by the way. This is just a metaphor. But sharpen the saw habit seven. Doing the same thing over and over again can cause us to forget some of the important things that define who we are and who we aim to become. Always practice and reevaluate your physical, mental, social, and spirituality. Um, how does this affect online distance education? Mm. One day, each of you will become graduates and move on to a successful future in your field of study. What you may not realize is that the learning only starts when you graduate. It is your responsibility to continue practicing these skills so you don't forget. For example, graphic and web designers. They need to have a portfolio okay, when they graduate. What they learn in the first month compared to the 12th month is completely different. So two years, let's say, not one, but two years after after starting the course. So you've already been a graduate for a year, okay? Um, their work should be, or your work, their work should be, it should be on opposite sides of the world, basically. That is, well, it's basically because they've evolved as graphic designers and web designers and are now pushing out better quality work. You should always try and one-up yourself. Never stay idle, never stay relaxed, because that's when you're just, you're not going to move forward. Okay, there's always better ways of enhancing your skills. And just to clarify too, what we teach here is yes, to enhance your skills. However, it's we're teaching you the basic tools so that you're able to take those tools upon graduating and do further research, go on to YouTube, maybe do some tutorials, find out some other information regarding your field of study, and then take it from there. We provide you with the tools and then you're to see how you're going to push yourself to the limit, how you're going to better your portfolio or better your, um, your, other, your, your other course materials, okay? Um, so that covers habit seven, sharpen the saw, which is technically all the habits, but we're going to move on in just a second to something else here in just a moment. Does anyone have any questions at this point so far? <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> we're going to move on to, um, I gotta scratch this out because we're going to do something interesting here. There is a habit eight and uh, Shauna, um, and uh, Kathy, don't say what it is if you already know it. Uh, no one say what it is, okay? Uh, so, okay, so basically th th this is going to conclude the brief summary of the seven habits of highly effective people in regards to online distance education, okay? But, there's a but. I have one task for each and every one of you. Not now, as mentioned. Do not say the answer if you already know it, but instead, after this webinar, for those who do not know it, take a few moments of your time and research the eighth habit of highly effective people. The eighth. This is for your own personal gain, and I welcome you to continue this journey of positivity. So, without further ado, thank you all for attending this webinar, and I truly appreciate each and every one of you for listening, and I hope that this brief summary was clear and understood. Um, does anyone here have any questions or thoughts that they wish to share? Wonderful. Thank you very much. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Good. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Uh, does anyone have any questions here uh, regarding the seven habits of highly successful people? Or they feel pretty comfortable with it? Or um, Oh, right. Um, sorry. One second. Click. There we go. <laughs> I'm really bad at this slideshow thing, not going to lie. So um, habit eight, there it is. Uh, just kind of 
it makes more sense there. <laughs> so once again, thank you for all attending. <laughs> Uh, here are some resources here that you may wish to look into. Uh, there are three things, well really only two, but um, there's a YouTube video of uh, Randy Posh in the last lecture. If you've got a pencil and paper, pen and paper, or a notepad document, uh, write down Randy Posh, last, the last lecture. Pop it into YouTube tonight if you've got some time. And uh, it's, it's a little over an hour watch, but it is so good. Get out the popcorn, get out whatever beverage you're going to have, and sit down and feel inspired. Uh, I know... I'm probably going to do that tonight too. <laughs> uh, so once again, just to mention as well, author of this book, Stephen R. Covey, if you feel you this you could benefit from this, I highly recommend picking up that book. It's a great read. Uh, you can call or email me. Email is right there uh, if you have any questions at all. Okay. All right. So... I'm going to end this conversation in about three seconds here if no one has any other questions. But once again, thank you all for attending. I uh, really appreciate you showing up, and I hope you've had a, a benefit from this. Okay? All right. Have a, have a great day. Bye-bye.